allow me to introduce our practice area specialists who will take us through the key stories in the market. I'm Kiwi and I'm a research manager on the USA team. Whilst I usually look after the antitrust, environment and real estate sections, I wanted to take a step back and talk us through one of the bigger changes that disrupted the legal market in 2021. One of the most interesting stories in legal marketing over the past few months has been the effect of the great resignation on the legal industry itself. Anecdotally, we've seen exponential increases in the number of ranked attorneys moving between firms. However, this issue has been most pronounced at the more junior level, as younger partners and associates look to make lateral movements or leave private practice altogether for in-house, governmental or even non-legal roles. This has been of particular interest to Chambers and we wanted to explore this in more depth using data from our colleagues on the Chambers Associate Guide. Just to recap, the Chambers Associate Guide is the product of our anonymously collected feedback from around 4,000 associates in the US, largely at AMLA 100 firms where we ask about their experiences. We also ask them about their intentions and their priorities, which have thrown up some interesting results. To start with, we asked associates to rank their decision-making priorities when choosing their first firm to begin their legal career. There wasn't any significant stratification in the results, but the most popular criteria were the compensation, intellectual challenge and firm culture. I wanted to zone in on the two criteria in the middle, regarding the prestige of the firm and the work-life balance. Associates ranked these as fairly middling concerns when making a decision on their first firm, However, when we posed the same question to associates, but instead asked about the most important criteria to consider when moving to their next firm, something changed. The most important factor for associates choosing their next firm is most often a question of work-life balance, while associates rank the prestige of their next firm as their lowest priority. What's been interesting is that compensation, while still a fairly significant factor, is not really attributed much importance. We've seen over the past year, law firms offer eye-watering sums to associates in terms of salary and bonuses, but it appears that when associates are looking to make a move, that's not really going to have the expected effect. The surveys also asked the associates about their intentions over the next five years or so, which we can slice up by practice area. The results are quite interesting. About one in three associates specialising in the life sciences and security litigation sectors anonymously told us that they would look to leave their firms within the next two years, with capital markets, white-collar criminal defence and international arbitration also potentially experiencing high attrition rates. Inversely, practice areas where attorneys were most intending to stay put were in the environment, intellectual property and tax practices. I'd like to thank the Chambers Associate team for giving us a sneak peek at this data, which hasn't been released publicly. 